It's not what you think it is. It's not. It's Browham murked out. CBT guitar lesson for James. You know, a little play off of a, a little song called, you guys may not have heard of it. James, you may have not heard of it. ACDC Back in Black. Anyways, it's a really cool kind of blend of the rap rock thing here. This is a, a new band to me, brand new. Tuning is standard, not a whole lot of parts. They all got a little groove to them. Section 1A, zero seconds in. It starts out, um, it's distorted, but it's not full distortion. Open E, 2A, open D. So you want to hold those down. This to where you hear all three, and then we have. You'll go three, two on the B, and then open, and then middle finger 3G and open B. But check it out, you're gonna hit them, and then bend uh, the, the 3G a half step. A half step means one fret, and what you're basically doing is bending a B flat to a B. It's like you're tuning it with itself, watch. Same note now. And it does that twice. And uh, they got a, like a phaser over it too, but. And then there'll be a. Uh... Yeah. So this little filler at the end is on the A string. Two, one, open and then 2nd fret D and G. Now that's a hold that the open A string with it. And then 3rd fret, low E, half step bend. Same as this one here. Okay, so. And then go right back to that first groove two times. And then Coming out of that section, A5 to a 3E bend, two times. The A5, that's just an A power chord, open A, 2D. And then open 1, 2 on the A. Now I put down, up, down, but I think he's doing down, down, down just fast. You know what I mean? Instead of going. So you have. And then section 1B, 21 seconds in. This is the, the verse. Open E, 2A. Very uh, back and blackish. G major, 3E, muted A. Open D and G, 3B, 3E. Go down, up, down. And then go 2, 3, 4 on the E. So it's... Open A, barred second fret, D and G. Let me do that again. And then this little Aerosmith walk this way riff on the A string, open one, two. And then bar down like with your middle, just flatten it to 2D. And then flatten or reverse that and just shift the pressure back up to 2A rather than individually lift and go. It takes too much time and it won't flow. So you go. And then bend the 3E. Okay, that goes six times, the sixth time no star. So the sixth time would be this. And then you'll see a star, you don't play out through the rest of that. You get to the double dots, go past it. And it's this, it's the, uh, the B ending on section 1A. Okay, same exact thing. Then section 1C, 51 seconds in. Open E, 2A. This is what I opened the lesson with. This is the E power chord. Let it ring. So in your tab lines, if you just have like the open two with a line, that means let it ring. If it's the line with the X at the bottom, that would be the, like we uh, did on the beginning of section 1B. It means you're cutting the notes off. This one, you let it ring. Open D, 2G, and 3B. Go down up. Um, well, once again, he's probably doing three downs. Um, but you can go either way. But I'm going to go down. Open A, 2D, three times. And there's that. Again, the ending, the B ending of section 1B. 
um, then go back to the E, to the D, to the A, then you go open A, quick rest, and then go open two, three E bend. That's it. So on the bends, if it's got a one half fraction, that means it's a half step bend. It's, it's just a one fret bend. That's all you're doing when you're bending a note. You're making it go higher, right? So it's got to it's got to have a gauge for that, so you know how far to bend it. Well, guitar is set up in half steps, so you you bend a bend a half step on that. That's what you do on the. Okay. Matter of fact, when the waves are gone, you know that that's all tuned up there. Um, then on your bends, if there's no fraction, it means it's a whole step, which is standard. That's probably more, used more common than anything else, and that's a two fret bend. And there's several of those, too. All right, when we go to the top of page three, it's really a bunch of repeats. You know, there's no guitar solo. Um, at the very end, though, section 2A, or outro, whatever you want to call it, it's similar to the intro. Three minutes, 12 seconds in, second fret A. You can back your volume a little bit. That'll cut some of the, the fuzz. Go E, A, D, A. And that's going to be the... And then 3, 2, open on the B. It's just slower. 3, G, open B. And that's the end of it. So here it is. You know, the wave stopped. If they don't, you know the waves? I'm not there yet. They slow down. And if, you, if, if they stop and then you hear them again, it means you went too far past the note. You get a reverse concept with those waves. But that's just a little trick to remember. Um, waves are telling you you're out of tune. When those waves get slower, it means you're approaching the right, you're heading the right direction. And they should slow down and then stop. I mean, if you keep hearing them after it stops, you've gone too far. You gotta pull it back. Just a little good trick to remember. All right, James, let me know if there's anything else you want. That was cool, man. Different, I don't get stuff like that a whole lot. Um, take care.